YouTube. Sorry for this uh, very late response, but um, I had it kind of busy a uh, couple of last weeks. So, what we're going to do in this uh, Cinema 4D tutorial, we're going uh, to. Um, uh, I got a lot of questions on how to add your bullet into um, a background or whatever and how to render it out and how to animate it so I'm gonna try this uh, in this whole tutorial so I'm gonna make this a little bit quick okay I'm gonna start with um, uh, let's think I'm gonna start with the animation so how to animate a bullet or how to animate objects well it's very easy select the bullet right here and um, <laughs> select it and then go to um, your timeline of course well, we're gonna put a little bit backwards right here and we're gonna rotate it uh, 180 degrees like so I did flat uh, flat front so if you render it out, the background, uh, the, the, the back of the text will not be displayed. So, okay, once we have this, we uh, select a bullet and hit that little button. It's the keyframe button. So keyframe it. Then go over to... Um, well, let's say frame 90, just frame 90. Then put it, rotate it 180 degrees back. Rotate it 180 degrees back and just pull it out right there. Once you have that, you click again the keyframe button. Works the same in After Effects. If you go back, and as you can see, it immediately rotates okay so that's how you uh, can animate uh, very shortly to say there are uh, complicated methods but um, this is pretty um, what's the um, easiest way now how to add a background it's very easy to do either go to um, let me think Go to your uh, light right here and click here on background. Or you can go to objects, scene, background. Click that. And once you have a background, nothing will happen. That's up to you. Create a new material. Double click on it. And uh, I'm going to load a picture in. So go to color. Uh, there, uh, tutorial stuff, there it was, wallpaper. I just picked a randomly picture from the internet, randomly wallpaper. And uh, once you have this material, oh, uh, by the way, this doesn't have to be a JPEG file. It can also be, which is very powerful on this Cinema 4D uh, material editor. It can be an AVI file too. You can load your own footage in and edit with your uh, main footage on the background, which is a really powerful feature. Never used it before, but it is possible. So go and check that out. Okay, once you have that material, you drag it over to background. Once it's on the once it's on the background, you hit Control R to render it out. Well, and you have to set your render settings up with Control B. Uh, just set your. I don't know if I have a render preset. I think it was kind of small icon, so it doesn't really matter. And the loading of the presets uh, takes a while at my computer. So on. Um, never mind. So how to render this out? Well, it's very easy to do, but um, one thing that I'm gonna notice, um, I'm not going to render it with a background, and why not? If I'm gonna render this out in my machine, I don't really have a recent machine right here. 
I actually got a AMD Samprom 3000 Plus with 1 gig RAM and NVIDIA GeForce uh, 7300 so it's not really good so that's why I'm gonna delete the background because the rendering takes too long so I'm gonna delete the background but the animation is still there and I actually changed the background a little bit, uh, the animation a little bit but doesn't really matter so it, uh, it works the same for you guys and if I render right now it renders way quicker so okay um, it's uh, also slower because I'm recording by the way so <laughs> okay um, just go to render and then m hit make preview if you want to render it as a um, a video as an AVI and I recommend to export it as an AVI I uh, know what the render settings are then so um, if you click on options which is a very important thing right here because the compressor the the usual thing should be on Microsoft video one well that's sucking so <laughs> I want you to, to scroll down at full frames uncompromised uh sorry uncompressed so click on that hit OK and right then you're gonna click on OK again which will obviously render it out for you well um it will render out on this place uh, with your render settings if you don't really uh, set a path right here it's doing the y usual thing right then um, it's going to render it out to the main Cinema 4D um, location or where you have installed it so that should be C program files max on Cinema 4D R11 or R10 depends on what kind of version you have and um, it should be in the main folder than your AVI file so I'm gonna pause this video oh, actually I'm done so <laughs> okay um, I hope you learned something from this tutorial very easy by the way but uh, yeah if you don't know it it's handy to, kno to know how to animate and how to render and how to put a background in so hope you like this tutorial um, if you have any suggestions for tutorial just um, contact me send me a PM or just respond through this video doesn't really matter I always read your comments so okay uh, thanks for watching and please leave comments